Hello and assalamu alaikum. This is lecture three, floating point. Now we will discuss how to convert a negative number into binary floating point form. So let's say we have got minus three point two five. So whenever you come across a negative number, so what we have to do is basically solve it as a positive number first. So let's solve plus three point two five. So this is three point one point five and point two five and move the point all the way towards the left this is 0 0.1101 and how many times we have moved two times so this is a standard form afterwards we will save it 0 0.1101 and this is our floating point number but we have to save it let's continue with the previous lecture that we have got let's say 8 bits mantisa and 4 bits exponent so 1 2 3 4 5 uh, 6 7 8 and 1 2 3 4 so this is your final answer for positive 3.5 now we have to convert it back to negative number for that you will be so this is positive 3.5 we have to convert it negative because the original number that we had was what negative 3.5 so uh, how we will do that so for that reason we have to keep the exponent same because exponent is merely the number of times we have to jump the point but for mantisa from the right side to the first one from the right side to the first one we have to keep the bits same and toggle or inverse rest of the bits so this is one double zero one so this is as we would have done it in two's complement to turn a positive into negative or negative into the positive same strategy will be used here but just for the mantisa so this is actually your answer all right now let's say minus seven point one eight seven five so this is but first we will solve seven positive 1875 so this will be 111.0011 all right 1875 so 1875 is basically point 0.125 plus point zero six two five. now move the point all the way towards the left 0 0.111 and 2 to power 3 because we have to bring the point back three times in order to get the a fixed point number back and then from that point we basically go to the denim now let's save it one two three four five six seven eight complete and then we have got three one two four eight so this is positive positive number now we have to convert it to negative as the thing is suggested keep the exponent same from the right side to the first one keep everything same and toggle the rest all right so this is negative number now we have learned uh, denary to binary and binary to denary sorry denary to binary uh, both positive and negative all right now from binary to denary another thing we have to observe this bit the most significant bit in mantisa this is said to be what sine bit which is sine bit this one is sine bit if it is 0 it means it is a positive number if it is 1 it means it is a negative number so sine bit since it has got minus 1 in it so if you put 0 you'll cancel it out making the whole number positive if you are keeping it it means that you have actually the sign of negative number so the number is negative so we have to keep that in mind let's solve binary to denary so let's say we have got 0101100001 one two three four five six seven eight so and we have got four zero one zero zero all right so as we can see that this is basically what a positive number so we have to now go back four steps all right so we will first coming to this point where we have this number so from denary to binary now we are going back all those four steps so in first step we will make it zero point one zero one one double zero one into 2 to power 4 now we will dissolve this standard form we will have to bring the point four times towards the right in order to dissolve this standard form so this will become 1011.001 now 1011.001 let's put it in this 101011.001 all right so this is 1 2 4 and 8 on the left and on the right it is 0 0.5 0 0.25 0 
0.125. So this is basically 8, 9, 10, 11.125 and obviously positive. You have to positive, you have to put positive sign in front of it since the original number was positive. All right, let's solve another number. Let's say 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we have got what? 0, 0, 1, 1. All right, since the number is positive, we will just start solving it into 2 to power 3. So point will have to move towards the right three times. So this will become 1, 1, 0, 0 1. So this is basically 1, 2, 4, 6, point, point 0.5 and point 0.125. So this is 6, 2, 5. This is basically 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.125. So this is 5, 2, 6, point 6, 2, 5. And this is a positive number. That is how we solve positive floating point number uh, and make it a denary number. Let's solve the negative one. So if we have got 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So let's make it this and 0, 1, 0, 0. So as we can see that this is a negative number. So first we have to convert it back to positive number and then from positive number we will solve it and whatever the answer that we have we will put a negative sign there. So keep the exponent same to the first one, keep it same and flip the rest as the wisdom goes and then start solving it. So first you have to make a negative number positive and then we will solve it. So 0 0.1 triple zero one one into two to power four. So point will go four times. So this will become one triple zero point one one. So this is one two four eight point seven five but this is negative as the original number is negative. Okay. Now another number one zero one one zero 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 one two three four five six seven eight and we have got zero zero one zero. Since the number is negative we will first convert it to positive number. So let's see how. We will keep the exponent same from the right to the first one. We keep the mantis are same and flip the rest. And then afterwards we will solve it and make the standard form out of it. 1 0 1 into 2 to power 2. So the point moves towards the right two times. So this has become 1 0 0.1 and this is 2.5 negative as the original number was negative. That is how we convert a positive number sorry negative number from binary to denary.